So I can upload a normal avatar. But how do I upload an avatar I paid for when I found for free offline? Well, I got you covered. Let's get started. I usually go on Gumroad when looking for avatars. I just hop in there, search VR chat avatar, sort by a tag, and uh, set it to free, and a lot of avatars pop up, and uh, I, I just look for the ones that I want. I pick three of them for this video, one PC only, and two for PC and Quest, but they're uploaded differently. I'll have them linked in the bottom so you can do this along with me, well, if you want. Alright, let's get everything downloaded that needs to be downloaded so that we can upload this avatar. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to the VRChat website and we are going to sign in, make our way down to downloads, and download that VRChat Creator Companion. Once you open that up for the first time, it explains everything you need to do to set it up and everything you need downloaded. So just follow its instructions and uh, you should be here when you're done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click create new project. We're going to go to Unity 2022 Avatar Project. We're just going to select it. Then we're going to give the project a name and we're going to click create project. This will bring us to our next window. I don't really need anything in here. I'm just going to click the easy quest switch and then I'm going to click open project. Once Unity actually opens, you should be here. Now let's go about downloading our first avatar. We make our way to the website and we're actually going to check any requirements that needs to be done for the avatar. Uh, it doesn't say anything for this one. So we're just going to go ahead and download it. And as you can see, it is a dot seven Z, which is seven zip. I don't have seven zip. So I'm going to install that real quick. With that installed, I'm going to open it up, move everything onto the desktop and let's get our VRChat project set up. Before we upload this, you see there's a readme folder. So we're actually going to open this up because a lot of the times they have requirements of ways you're supposed to import packages into unity so this one actually says that we need to add the poyomi shader the unity package and then we can open the avatar scene we're gonna drag and drop the poyomi shader in, and it will pop up with a whole list of stuff that is gonna be imported into the project we're just gonna skip all that and click import most avatars use poyomi shaders for pc some require other shaders and then sometimes they don't even come with the avatar download so you just search up the shader, and usually it's a GitHub link. You just go there, you can find the version that it it needs, download that version, and then it's the same thing. You just drag and drop it in. Once that's done importing, we're gonna take the actual avatar Unity package and drag and drop that in then. We repeat everything we did with the Poyomi shader where you just click import and just wait for it to import. Once it's done importing, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look around for a scene. A lot of these avatars have a scene that's already set up with everything. We're just gonna double click it and as you can see in the top left and in the scene view, everything is there and set up for us. So go to the scene view, try holding down right click and pressing WASD. This is how you move around within the scene view. And now uh, we're gonna check for any like bright pink colors. Like a solid bright pink. That usually means it's a missing shader. I don't see any on this avatar, so it's good. Uh, let's actually just upload it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to the VRChat SDK tab. If you don't see this, you can go to the top left where it says VRChat SDK. Click on that. Click show control panel. And then you have it. You just need to sign in with your VR chat account. Once that's done, you head over a builder, and then this is where we actually build and upload the avatar. All right, let's start filling it out. We're gonna name it. You can set visibility of it, content warnings, and uh, let's capture a thumbnail. So the thumbnail uses the camera inside the scene view, which remember WASD to move around. So I'm just gonna move around till it looks good. And, uh, Yep, that looks fine to me. We click capture to save it. And now we check the validations to make sure it doesn't need us to auto fix anything. Looks good. Down in the bottom left, you check that yes, this is, you have the right to publish this avatar, blah, 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 blah. And then click upload, build and publish. Right here, it's asking me to uh, auto fix something. So I'm just going to say yes. I'll see you in VR chat now when it's done. Once we're in VR chat, open up your menu, go to avatars. In the top left, you see the tab uploaded. Click on that. You'll see the avatar you uploaded there. We're just going to click on it and click change into avatar. And you can see all the animations work and it's all, it's all working. Now we can test our toggles to see if those work too. Oh, look at me go. Oh, oh. 
let's move on to the next one all right now we're going to do our second avatar this one is going to be pc and quest compatible so we're gonna make our way down see what it requires and when we go to download it you can actually see that there is an error with the avatar i'm still going to make the avatar for educational purposes but if you want to wait till it's fixed you can we're going to use the same unity project everything that we're going to do is for the pc side is the exact same we're just going to bring it in drop it in oh the gesture manager is down there we're going to save it close it and what we're going to do now is go back to the project we're going to manage it and we're going to add the gesture manager back in and then we just we just load it back up and you can see it's fixed so we're going to upload this the same way we did the last avatar so do that real quick and meet me after it's uploaded all right and it's uploaded what we're going to do now is you see in the vr chat sdk you see where it says selected platforms we're going to click on that and we're going to go to Android. Android's just Quest. And uh, we're going to let that switch real quick. After it's done switching, we're going to see where it says auto fix on anything. We'll auto fix those. Some of these, like Poyomi's shaders, uh, we have to do manually for this avatar because there's not a separate avatar made for the Quest version. So let's navigate our assets folder and actually go to the Quest materials. Once we're there, we're gonna go back to our scene view, click on our avatar and press Ctrl D to duplicate them. Once the avatar is duplicated, click the drop down next to the name and we can see everything that makes up the avatar. Now click on one of these and you can see the material on the right hand side of the inspector. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the name of this material and we'll match it over here on the left side with these quest materials, right? So we're just going to click on it, drag and drop the material into the place of the other one. And it switches it. Now we're going to do this for all the materials on the avatar. Now we can make our way back to the VRChat SDK panel. And you can see we can actually upload it now. We don't have those errors. So let's go about uploading it. So once it's done uploading, that's literally all you need. We'll see you in the game. Inside the game, avatars uh, uploaded. And there it is change into it and you can see all uh, it looks great and all the toggles are working let's actually check it for quest now all right inside my quest switch the avatar and well it actually looks great damn check the toggles real quick all right all right yep looks great all right let's move on to the final one the last and final avatar so let's look for anything we need all right download it and check it this one comes with a guide holy crap this guide is detailed holy crap it is everything looks like we'll need poyomi for this one all right let's do our normal drag and drop it in this is very similar to the last one we did the only difference is this has two avatars you have the pc avatar and you have the quest avatar what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the VRChat SDK, make sure you have the PC version selected to upload, and then go about uploading it normally. Once that's done uploading and you've switched to Android, you wanna select the PC avatar. You will see a pipeline manager. That code is the avatar. You wanna copy that code and go to the Quest one and paste that into the Quest one. Then, when you go to the VRChat SDK, switch it to the quest avatar when you switch it to the quest avatar you can then just upload it again if it doesn't let you check for a scene that, that it should say like quest materials and double click that and that should update uh, the materials for you and then check to see if it's done yep and you can upload it we'll see you in the game all right the animations look all good let's check some of the expressions uh sweater sweater toggles on and off uh, looks good. Shoes, yep. Alright, just confirming the quest version. Change into avatar. Alright, awesome. Toggles look good. Sweet! I mean, if you want to go into more detail with avatar creation, check out this one.